Hi, I'm Brian Ponstein. No, I'm not. Um, hi, I'm Dan Bigelow with the TOC, and we're continuing our talk on solutions to the issues with biodiesel. I'm joined with RJ, who's got some experience in fuel management strategies. So could you share a bit on that? I can't stress enough. You need to know what's in your fuel so you know what tools you need to use to maintain its cleanliness and quality. After you know what's happening in your tank, then we can make a better decision of implementing the three solutions. First being the use of fuel additive. There are many different fuel additives out there. And just like you need to know what is in your tank, you need to know what is in your fuel additive to ensure that it is helping you meet your fuel management goals. As emulsified water is a big issue with biodiesel, it's important to ensure the fuel additive being used has a de-emulsification component. This makes things easier for the fuel water separators and fuel polishing systems to do their jobs and remove the water. Remember, water sucks. What's the difference between fuel water separators and fuel polishing systems? While their functions are very similar, where they're utilized is different. Typically, the engine manufacturer has already specified primary and secondary inline fuel water separators and or filters. These are installed between the tank and the engine's fuel lift pump, essentially moving the failure point from the injector or injection pump to the fuel water separator. Rather than the water and particulate running to the injector, the failure becomes that the filter or separator is clogged. When that filter clogs, it directly impacts the engine's performance, causing a shutdown for service. In an emergency situation, this could mean extended outages until the service is performed. Correct. So by implementing a fuel polishing system on the tank, you basically move that failure point from the critical location on the generator to a non-critical location on the tank. Many people will sub this service out and have a company do this on a monthly, quarterly, or biannually basis. But you recommend to install something permanent to process the fuel regularly? Yes and no. I recommend it if the application, installation, and the testing support the need for a permanent installation, then that is necessary. As water removal in a tank is a daily battle, we mentioned in another video how this water can accumulate quickly, even in a 24-hour period. Having a system installed on the tank that can work just as quickly is the best way to maintain or improve the fuel cleanliness. So just to recap here, test your fuel, Treat your fuel with a fuel additive, ensure you have proper inline filtration, and implement a fuel polishing system or fuel cleaning service on the tank. Yep, exactly. And we hope you've enjoyed this installment on biodiesel. And if you did, please like and share this video. We want to hear from you. We got to hear comments down below. So there's a portion that sticks out that you need to hear more about. You got to let us know. Makes sense to me. Yeah.